Hey guys, thanks for uh, tuning in and checking out the video today. Today we're going to be talking about a, a topic that's in a lot of people's mind, and that is PayPal. I know some people love PayPal, some people hate PayPal, some people love to hate PayPal. Uh, today what we're going to be talking about is rolling reserves, and what is a rolling reserve? Uh, I'm going to do a five-part series of videos in which we're going to discuss what is a rolling reserve, how will a rolling reserve affect you, how to survive a rolling reserve, what causes you to go on a rolling reserve, and lastly, how, if at all, are you able to get off of a rolling reserve. So I'm going to do a five-part video series on PayPal rolling reserves, what they are, why it happens, how to get off it, things like that. So in this video, we're just going to be talking generally about what a rolling reserve is. Basically, a rolling reserve is PayPal or any merchant service provider, other credit card companies, First Dad, and others are known to do this as well. Um, basically, what it is, it's to protect themselves. So um, if you sell $100,000 worth of merchandise and you get $10,000 in chargebacks, if they give you all that money up front, you may say, you know what, screw you, I'm going to move to a different merchant provider and you know you guys eat that 10 grand and I lost. Well, they don't want that to happen, so what they want to instill it with some uh, some merchants is what's called a rolling reserve. Now, without getting into why this happens, because we're gonna save that for another video, but uh, basically high-risk industries, um, and just do a Google search on high-risk credit card industries. I mean, there's certain industries that are totally locked out of getting merchant accounts, um, but other ones, if you are able to get a merchant account, you may pay higher fees, um, you may be put on a rolling reserve program. Rolling reserves are not unique to PayPal. People give PayPal a hard time about it, but honestly, probably 99% of people out there have not used a traditional payment uh, provider or merchant services provider. Majority of people out there have experience with PayPal, but not real providers. So everyone likes to whine and complain about PayPal. Most people haven't tried traditional uh, merchant service providers to where they would realize that you're gonna face that. Um, with pretty much everybody if you're in certain industries. So, uh, like I said, a rolling reserve can come in many forms. You'll probably be contacted by PayPal. We're gonna put you on a rolling reserve. Sometimes they'll say, we want a flat amount of money up front that we're gonna hold. So they may say, you know, we're gonna put 10 grand in a fund, and if you have any chargebacks, it's gonna be paid out of that fund. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Other times, PayPal may say, okay, we're not gonna take any money up front, but we wanna keep 5%, 10%, 20% of all your sales for 90 days. On the 91st day, we'll release the first day of holds. On the 92nd day, we'll release the second day of holds. On the 93rd day, we'll release the third day of holds. So that's another way that they run the program. And in some cases, they may do both. They may say, we want to take 10 grand up front and we want to hold 10% of uh, your monthly sales. Now, obviously, this can handicap a business because essentially the more that you sell, the, the more of a hold you're digging yourself. Now, eventually you're gonna get this money back after 90 days, but if you do a high volume of sales, are you able to sustain losing that cash flow so that you can continue buying inventory and continue making money, even though, unless you have great margins, you're gonna be losing money on every sale? That's up to you to decide. Um, some businesses have to try to get their items at a lower cost. Some people have to get their items on front so they're not having to shell out money for it. Some people have to raise the cost of their products. Basically, if, if you wind up in a rolling reserve situation, you wanna be able to sustain that money you're losing by getting products at a better price, raising your prices if you can get products on front, do that as well. Um, but yeah, that's essentially what a rolling reserve is. It's how a rolling reserve works. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna save why it happens, how to how to survive it, and all these other things for another video. But